But once you've got your Mark of the Unicorn uh, Ultra Light MK4 up and running, uh, you'll probably have a screen uh, that is similar like this, although I already have my presets loaded. As you can see, everything's named here. And, uh, well, this is uh, just the number of configurations are done. Here's every single channel. Uh, all the processing is all tweaked and set into motion. So um, to load in the Podfather settings, what you do is you click on this button up here for the mixing console. You can see that mixing is selected here, and you'd want to import the file that you saved, which would be the mixing settings. Um, probably the easiest way to do it is start with the device tab here and then import it because that should bring in all uh, channels, all uh, mixes, all uh, settings, all compression, EQ, etc. Uh, but just in case, I've also provided the settings for the touch console, which I use the most during live production. You can see that these are bigger faders, and indeed, if I uh, use my touch screen on my Surface Pro uh, or adjust anything uh, during recording, which I typically don't have to do once it's set, then it's kind of set. Also, the uh, auxiliary mixing, which you won't have to do much with, uh, but there's settings for that. Uh, here is the, again, uh, the mixing console. There's a couple of things here. The mix minus, uh, so you can see that here my microphone is going to the mix minus the players which I'll show in a separate video uh, which is the M Airlist uh, software then there's JCD which is in this case Skype and that is not going to the mix minus channel uh, because that obviously would send it back to him and would negate the whole idea of mix minus uh, then I also have Hindenburg here and I can even adjust the mix minus up and down if I want uh, but again, I'm typically just sitting on this page right here, which is the touch console. Also, though, key is the routing preferences. Now, how this works exactly is something you can't really even put into words. It's a Zen thing to get this all set up. But this is essentially where everything is routed so that you can listen to exactly what your listeners will be hearing on your headphones, and as will your co-host or anyone who's on a remote connection without hearing themselves echoing back. Uh, so that's uh, the basics of the um, Mark of the Unicorn Ultralight MK4. A couple other things to note here is the Skype configuration. So in Skype, and this is in the Podfather gear uh, description, under audio and video, you want to select as microphone in 1-2 Motu Pro Audio, you can see that you can select different devices. That's the one you want to have. And for speakers, you want to select Motu Pro Audio speakers. And that, you have to make sure you do that. Uh, that's pretty much all you can do with Skype. Um, and it routes through the proper uh, portions of the interface. And I think that's pretty much all you need for this screen. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. And in the next video, I'll show you the M Airlist screen and its configuration and uh, how you.